Welcome back here with Expresso Live on SABC3. You know I sneak in to bring you a quick youth sport update, and it's been a busy weekend. First of all, a quick congratulations to Chad Leclerc. He made it through his heat last night in the 200 meter butterfly. We wish him all the best of luck today. Now, turning to rugby, a big weekend for our schoolboy rugby players. Saru has announced the South African school squad of 28 players after a set of trial matches at the Barnard Stadium in Kempton Park this last Saturday. The 28 men and SA school squad was selected from that initial group of 50 players that were of course chosen after our Coca-Cola under 18 Craven Week in PE a couple of weeks back. Our very powerful Blue Bulls prop, Pierre Skuman, is the captain. Congrats there, Pierre. And SA Under 25, Andre Pollard, is the vice captain. Likewise, well done, sir. Now, the final selection would have been very difficult because we had an unbelievable group of players in that enlarged group of 50. They will now get the chance to show their ability against international opposition and hopefully play themselves into contention for call-up to the SA Under 20 trials, which will be in November, in action against three top international sides all from Europe in August they face off against England Wales and France and it's all going to be happening on our back steps so we want to make sure we support them so with so many of our top players out of action because of SA trials how did our schoolboy sides do well taking a quick squiz at our results Dale College came out tops 20 to 20 over St Andrews College Queens achieved their third consecutive win over Selborne and their second this year, 26-17, a good win there. Uffies continued their fantastic season, 28-10 over Glenwood. And Pretoria Boys High narrowly beat out Maritzburg College, 26-25. And Graham College achieved a long overdue win over Kingswood, 15-11. And playing in a muddy quagmire, the Battle of the Greys. The bragging rights there went to Grey Bloom. Then a little bit closer to home, Paul Roos beat Bishops, 21-10. Paul Boys High heaped more misery on Weinberg, 12-6 the final score. Paul Grimm absolutely demolished Rondebosch, uh, Rondebosch rather, 38-8. And Parktown Boys High beat a Dulwich from the UK, 31-24. Good result there. And Drosty, well, they achieved a fantastic win over Sachs. Now, the hosts, Drosty, gave the South African College High School a lesson in physicality and intensity with a resounding first half performance that proved enough to hold off their, well, very gallant visitors from the city. Drosty led 16-3 at the interval before holding on for a 19-18 win. Sachs kept attacking, though, in there to their credit as the game drew to a close. Number eight, Gino Lupini, who we haven't been able to keep off the score sheet this season eventually crashed over with four minutes to go. Chris Smith, sadly, though, wasn't able to convert the kick, and Drosty were able to hold on for a hard-earned but well-deserved victory. But I think, undoubtedly, the game of the weekend has to come from up north, where Jeppies beat Cares 28-13. Now, it's a match that Cares could have reasonably expected to have won quite comfortably. The Cares side this year has been particularly good. They've been beaten only by Uffies and Pretoria Boys High to class acts. At present, they are ranked 11th in South Africa amongst a galaxy of great rugby sides. Now, last year, when the two sides met, or well, rather when they met similar opposition, they beat um, Jeppy 35-15. That was at Cares, but the journey from Cares to Jeppy is not long enough to make much of a difference. Now, Cares scored first because of some ill discipline in the ruck by Jeppy tacklers. The tackles were massive, bone jarring hits but their back line was slick and fast, and by halftime, Jeppy had outsung them on the, sand, on the stands and outplayed them on the field, and they were 7-3 up. Then from the top of the school, three monsters emerged. The Cares South African schools players had done their trials, and they raced back from Kempton Park to Jeppy to save their school. The entire crowd hushed as these men ran past, um, and they took off their South African tops and put on their Cares jerseys, hit the field, and man, did the action start from there. The start of the second half onwards, Jeppy, well, they shouted louder. They scored first in that second half and then again and again with two minutes left to spare. They were 23-6 up and Care scored pretty much their only try in front of the spectators. The crowd were quickly on their feet. They converted. 23-13 was the score. Then from that kickoff, they knocked on straight into the hands of, well, undoubtedly the quickest player on their opposition, Kunene, who put the ball down in the corner. 28-13 the final score. Now looking forward to some big fixtures this coming weekend. Palkham 
take on Paul Boys Interscola. Need we say more? It is the biggest rugby fixture on the schoolboy calendar. We will bring you a complete update in our Friday Youth Sport Edition. Now, moving to mountain biking, we had to focus on this one. Why? Because it was the biggest school cross-country mountain bike event ever to be hosted in South Africa with more than 500 cyclists competing in the Spur and Atomic School Mountain Bike League race this weekend. Now, after a strong sprint to the finish, Vincent Legori of Krugersdorp High School took line honors in a time of 40 minutes and 17 seconds, followed by Johan Hartzenberg of Hotter Beersport High. He finished in close second. And Michael Ferreira of Bryanston High School came in a credible third. Let's hear from our winner in the Youth Under 15 division. I found the course to be a lot of fun. Uh, there was some technical parts that weren't there last year, um, so I really enjoyed it. The route was nice, but I found it was very flat. You had no rest at all, so you just get flat out the horse from the start. <laughs> Ruth White capping a fantastic performance from Stanford Lake College. She was first in that youth woman, followed by Amy Fainter from Dr. Milan and Sinead van Nickirk of Help Macar. Well done to the ladies. Then the youth men under 16 category saw Joel Heber of Trinity House and Wade Prinsley of Doxadeo battling it out for the winning spot. Great finish there. Joel came out tops just ahead of Wade in second place. Third place went to Neil Robinson. Then in the youth woman 16 category, it was Michelle. Benson of Vitacliff High, who took first place in a time of 32 minutes. Brilliant race there, followed by Jessica Alcott. And in third place was Janice Fenter. Then in our junior men, a serious battle continued amongst the top riders with Vanna van Heerden of Gasfontein High School finally taking line honors in a time of 52 minutes and 21 seconds, followed by Ferry Boerta of Centurion High and Nicholas Popich of Vaterkloof High. Let's catch up with another one of our big winners out of the weekend. Um, I found today's course uh, pretty technical, um, very tight and twisty, yeah. not, not a lot enough space to pass. Yeah. But overall, it was quite a, a lack of course and uh, didn't mind riding today. So, um, Well, the competition was quite hard. Um, me and another rider got away in the beginning and it was just between us the whole way to the end there. And just got him on the, the, thing on the uh, finish. Great to see our junior mountain bike riders doing so well and great to see a field of over 500 competitors. And that is where we're going to leave it for our youth sport this morning. Don't forget that you are going to be able to catch all of the details on our Inter Schooler showdown at the end of the week. It's going to be a fantastic week of rugby. But of course, from here on out, we'll be focusing on the Olympics throughout the week. Keep watching Chad Leclo today. He could be in store for Olympic glory in the 200 meters butterfly. Now, Liesl, what's cooking, love? <laughs>